Welcome back to the channel guys and today we're going to be looking at three dark theories that you may not know. The first one is Hollow Earth. While flat earthers get all the attention in the mainstream media, popular mechanics notes that there is also a conspiracy that says the earth is hollow and that there might even be a whole other civilization of advanced beings living in it. Could you imagine that? That would be extraordinary. Like, and are they the same as us? Like the, these are some of the questions that are jumping at me right now as we're talking about it. The theory is rooted back in the 17th century when Edmund Halley, who has a comet named after him, proposed that the Earth must be hollow because of changing magnetism, the science new site adds. Even back then, the idea of a hollow Earth was hardly a new one. This is, this is from Wired, which notes that it appears in folklore the world over, not to mention elsewhere in Europe in Halley's time. A German scholar called Athensius Kircher, for instance, published a textbook in 1664 in which he claimed the Earth contains a central fire and vast underground lakes and lava chambers. At the North Pole is a gaping vortex that sucks water down to the central fire where it's heated and expelled out the South Pole. What do you guys think about that one? It seems pretty interesting. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, I mean, it's a theory that I hadn't heard of. Everybody talks about the flat earthers and stuff. Nobody really talks about hollow. I never even heard about it until now. Anyways, let's get to the next one. The CIA and AIDS. Ever since HIV slash AIDS were, was first identified in the U.S. in 1981, rumors have persisted as to its cause and origin. Or origin. One of the most outlandish theories that has nevertheless captured the imagination of conspiracists is that the deadly virus was created by the CIA to wipe out homosexuals and African Americans on the order of U.S. President, you guessed it, Richard Nixon. We knew he did a lot of things, but as he's famously quoted, um, he never did anything, or I never did anything that JFK did. So, who knows if JFK did that? Anyways, it boasts a number of high-profile supporters, including former South African President Thabo Mbeki, was once touted the theory, disputing scientific claims that the virus originated in Africa and accusing the U.S. government of manufacturing the disease in military labs. Meanwhile, a number of, of prominent scientists, including former Nobel Peace Prize, Kenyan ecologist Wangari Mathai have also backed the theory. There is evidence that the CIA connection was, in fact, created by the KJB as part of a Cold War disinformation campaign to discredit the U.S. Whew. I'm getting, like, mind blown. Dubbed Operation Infection, the USSR published letters from anonymous U.S. official sources in scientific journals and newspapers throughout the 1980s claiming that virus was a CIA experiment gone wrong. This initially remained within the medical community, but as the epidemic grew, the theory took hold and persists to this day. Despite this, most scientists and doctors agree that the virus jumped from monkeys to humans somewhere in the Congo during the 1930s. What do you guys think about that one? Do you think that the CIA did this? Do you think that it was accidentally brought up and now it's everywhere? Well, what do you guys think? Let me know. Comment. You know. Whatever. I, and comment if you believe in any of these theories also. I mean, it's possible. Uh, let's get to the third theory. Here is the picture. Here we go. Okay, so the Holocaust did not happen. That is our third theory, and probably the most mind-blowing and interesting theory. Because, I mean, it's so embedded in our brains, this, this thing. How could it have not existed? Let's find out. One of the most contentious conspiracy theories concerns the systematic extermination of 6 million Jews by the Nazis during the Second World War. Evidence for the Holocaust is overwhelming, consisting of thousands of photos, films, and first-hand accounts. Yet that, yet that has not stopped a number of people questioning its validity. Most Holocaust deniers claim, either explicitly or implicitly, that the Holocaust is a hoax or, at best, an exaggeration, arising from a deliberate Jewish conspiracy designed to advance the interests of Jews. While most deniers agree that some killings were orchestrated by the Nazis, they claim the figures have been greatly inflated. One of the most famous cases is the 2000 trial, later dramatized in the film Denial, in which historian David Irving sued author Deborah Lipstadt for her description of him as a denier. The landmark case effectively put the Holocaust itself on trial, with the judge eventually ruling that Irving was an active Holocaust denier, that he was anti Semitic, 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 sorry guys, and racist, and that he associated with right wing extremists, extremists who promoted neo Nazism. Irving was later sentenced to three years in prison in Vienna after admitting to denying the Holocaust, which I don't know if that's completely fair. I mean, he denied it, sure, and I might, you might not agree with that. I don't even know if I agree with that, but putting him in three years for that, I'm not really sure. 
that's not, I don't think that's fair, but some countries, including Austria and Germany, have made Holocaust denial a criminal offense. And, I mean, I don't know if it should be a criminal offense. I think we're kind of exaggerating that. It's bad that they don't think that it happened because, I mean, there's a lot of people who were a part of it, and if it's true, then, you know, obviously they're, they're hurt, and it's just, it's not cool. But at the same time, making it a criminal offense, I don't know if that's really the way to justify it. Anyways, however, this has not stopped the theory from entering the mainstream, garnering support across the world. According to a large 100-country survey by the Anti-Defamation League, only 54% of the world's population has heard of the Holocaust, and of these, just a third believe it is portrayed correctly. The highest levels of awareness and trust in the historical accounts of the Holocaust exist in Western Europe. 77% believe it has been accurately described in history, while just 23% of people in Asia and 12% of Sub-Saharan Africa believe the historical accounts are accurate. What do you guys think about that one? Um, I hope you enjoyed these three kind of dark and interesting, maybe not even known theories. I don't know how I'm going to fit that into a title, but we're going to figure it out. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I'm back, guys. We're back. There's going to be a lot of theories and maybe other stuff. Not really sure yet. We'll see in the dark side. I'm feeling it. This whole quarantine thing. And a quarantine conspiracy theory coming up soon. Um, that's probably going to be its whole separate video because it's, it's a lot. Uh, I will say one thing. I was scrolling through the list of like celebrities that we've lost in 2020 because I'm always looking at that to see how the list has changed. And um, there was a lot that said COVID-19 on them as the cause of death. Or it could have been like some kind of like maybe a syndrome or something and COVID-19 next to it that played along with it. Kind of, you know, mixing it together, blended into their uh, death. But COVID-19 is responsible for a lot. I counted like 50 something before I stopped counting and just get, gave up. So um, there's definitely something there. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. We're at 240 subscribers. That's it's pretty good. Um, especially over three or four years that we've been on here. Going pretty pretty smooth, I'd say. Um, and yeah, just I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Comment if you liked any of the theories. Comment which one you like, which one was your favorite, and maybe even some ideas for a new conspiracy theory that you have. Maybe your own personal theory that I could, with your permission, show to everybody else. You know, your own theory. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.